you've learned how to check a person for signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, and when to call 911. You also know that caring for someone with anaphylaxis means administering epinephrine. The correct technique for this is easy to learn and can help save a life. Here's what to do. Keep in mind, these instructions are based on the widely available EpiPen. If you are using a different epinephrine injector device, be sure to follow that manufacturer's instructions. First, if you are just coming onto the scene, you'll need to determine if the person has already taken epinephrine. If so, a second dose should only be given if EMS is delayed and if signs and symptoms get worse or if they temporarily improve, then return again after several minutes. Did you use your epinephrine auto injector yet? No, I haven't. Hey, please help me. Once you've confirmed the auto injector is prescribed for the person, remove the device from its carrier tube or package if it has one. Check the expiration date. If it has expired, do not use the auto injector. If the medication is visible, make sure the liquid is clear. If it is cloudy, do not use it. Before giving the injection, you should put on gloves. Then, locate the outside middle of the person's thigh. If you are giving the injection through clothing, make sure there are no obstructions at the site. Do you have anything in your pockets, like a cell phone? No, 